travel through the universe at the speed of light. So that's the theory. Now that was suggested and built uh, mathematically, essentially. There was very little evidence for it at the time, back in the 60s. But over the years, uh, it, the theory called the standard model of particle physics passed all experimental tests. So we got to the point where we thought, right, okay, we, we will build a machine that will either disprove or prove that theory. And the LHC is such a machine. If that theory is correct, which it now seems to be, it, the prediction is you must find the Higgs particle at the, at the LHC or some kind of Higgs particle. And indeed, we found it. But that's a remarkable thing to think about it because it was, it's Wigner, one a great physicist, wrote an essay back in the 60s, I think, called The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics in the Physical Sciences. And by the unreasonable effectiveness is demonstrated by this discovery because it really is a mathematical prediction. It's like we think there's a new fundamental particle that does the job of giving mass to the other particles. And this is how it does it and this is how it behaves. And this is what it will look like and, and this is what it will do. And then 50 years later, you build the biggest machine ever built, 16 miles in circumference. Most of it's in France, a bit of it's in Switzerland. 10,000 scientists, you, yeah, 150 thing. countries. You, you, you accelerate protons, the nuclei of hydrogen, around this thing at 99.999999% the speed of light. Wow. They go around the 16 miles 11,000 times a second. We can collide 600 million of them together every second to recreate the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the universe began.